Hi, good afternoon. I am Dr. Venkatesh. I am a consultant neonatologist. Today I am teaching ultrasound cranium in a neonate. Ultrasound, is, uh, uh, ultrasound cranium is done in all preterm newborn babies, especially less than 30 weeks of gestation, to look for four important characteristics. One is we may not be seen at one point of time, so but four important uh, areas where we look at uh, preterm uh, neonatal brain using ultrasound. Um, or one is uh, intraventricular hemorrhage, uh, periventricular leukomalacia, hydrocephalus, and concentrated malformations of the brain. So, with this brief introduction, I'm going to uh, show you uh, how to perform ultrasound cleaning in any unit. So, now the probe is used, the high frequency probe is used. You can see here the C5 and C8. This is a curvilinear probe where you can see the marker here. Can you see the marker here? Yes, this is the marker, which should be facing to the right. And this is the anterior fontanel, and this is the window of opportunity to look at the brain. And we neonatologists are actually gifted to have this because we can visualize the brain using the ultrasound, especially the Vexel ultrasound. So, there are two important views we look at. One is the coronal view and subjective view. What is coronal view? Here, this is the anterior fontanel, and I am using this anterior fontanel to accommodate the transducer, and this is the curvilinear transducer I am using, and I have put a marker, you can see the marker there, facing to the right, and you can get the structures. Here, what we should do is, the structures in the coronal view, to get the images, I have to see from anterior to posterior. So I'll get good images for you. See, I'm going to see. So this is the anterior most portion of the brain. I'm going to freeze it and show you what are these components. This is the frontal lobe on either side, got interhemisphere fissure. This is the orbital ridge, and you can see both the eyes here, orbit, and this is the nose. This is anterior to anterior horn of lateral ventricle. It is also called as before you enter the ventricular system. Now, as I start sweeping posteriorly, now I start you like this, I just start moving posteriorly. You can appreciate, I just freeze the button, you can zoom the button also, you can zoom it. You see again interhemisphere fissure here, frontal lobe on either side. You can see corpus callosum, that means two hyperechoic area. Two hyperechoic area, in between is the corpus callosum. You can see anterior horn of lateral ventricle. And also, you can see what is called cavum septum pellucidum. Okay. These are the structures you appreciate when you start sweeping from anterior to posterior. This is actually called as entry into the ventricular system, where cutting at the anterior horn of lateral ventricle. Now, as I start sweeping further posteriorly, this. Yes, now I just freeze this button. You can see the body of ventricle. You can see the KM septum pulse. You can also see the third ventricle here. On either side the third ventricle, you see thalami. And also, you can see the temporal lobe here. And this is a Y shaped structure, hyperechogenic area called sylvian fissure. This is a sylvian fissure where the middle cerebral artery runs. On either side you can see the severe fissure and also you can see the right stem area also, this is the pontine area. As I sweep it further, this is actually cutting at the foramen of Munro. And you can see, this is the point where you can see the caudate nucleus and thalamus and you can see in the caudate nucleus and thalamus, cardiothalamic group also. As I start sweeping still posteriorly, You 
can appreciate structures. This is the parietal lobe. This is called as trigonal area. I can see these are two important hyperechoic structures called choroid plexus. And also you can see a structure, this is called splenium of corpus callosum. We can also appreciate interhemispheal. This is called trigonal area where the coronal section is taken at the trigonal level. Next, as we pass it posteriorly, see I am going posteriorly, I am appreciating the occipital lobe, occipital lobe and also you can see in the white matter, so you can see the white matter. Another important structure around the ventricle, the trigonal area, you can see the important structure, this is called as periventricular blush. You can see on either side, I can show on either side. On either side, you can see, this is called as periventricular blush, that means the trigonal area. Now, the last portion which I am going to show you is the Posteriormost portion of the coronal view, and this is your white matter. You can also appreciate the gyri and sulci here. So, you can see the thick part is the gyrus, hyperechoic part, and sulcus is actually the unequal part. In between the gyri, you can see the sulcus. So, this is about structures being appreciated on the coronal view of the brain. Now, I rotate this probe keeping the same anterior fortinet like this, with the probe marker facing to the sky, I appreciate the three important structures you should know, what is called as get some gel actually, you should get good gel, you get to do this properly. and explain to you what is this. You can see a single leg gyrus going here. This is your corpus callosum and the anechoic area is a caeum septum pellucidum. And you have got figure of E. You can see one, two, three component. This is called figure of E. And with the vermis of cerebellum, looks like lady in the Victorian era. So that means the lady wearing dress in the Victorian era is like this. And the first portion of the E is corresponding to the corpus callosum. The middle E is corresponding to the third ventricle, and the last E is corresponding to the vermis of cerebellum. You can also see here this cerebellum. This is the fourth floor of the ventricle. I show you this. This is the fourth. This is the floor of the fourth ventricle, and you can see the sapidex sylvius, and this is your third ventricle. So this is mid sagittal U. Now, I take a little bit either to the right or left, either to the right or left. I just want to appreciate this structure. I just case it. Yeah. You get a cup shaped structure. You can see here. This is your yeah. This is your uh, the occipital portion of the lateral ventricle. This is the temporal portion of the lateral ventricle, and this is the anterior portion of the lateral ventricle, where all the three structures they meet. This is called as trigonal area. You can also see the choroid plexus, and this is the, this is the occipital portion of the lateral ventricle where this choroid plexus will not reach. And here also, it is anterior, also, it doesn't go beyond the glue. This is the thalamus, this is the chordate nucleus, and the central point between these two is called parothalamic glue. So, you have to know that if you see something bright area that is going beyond this parothalamic glue, that must be the bleed, and also. Some 
time. So because the occipital horn of the lateral ventricle is dependent portion, we can see the brightness there. If you see any brightness there, there could be possibly a bleed in the uh, ventricle system. Now, if I move this probe still laterally, so what is this called? This is nothing but parasagittal view. And now I will, what I will do is I will I will just move this still further like this. You appreciate a structure called in the temporal lobe called insula. Where you will find this is the insula part, this is your middle cerebral artery, hyperechogenic structure which is present. It's called the the whole island is called insula, and what you see here is the middle cerebral artery, and this you see in the what is called tangential view. So that means in the sagittal view, we have got the mid sagittal, parasagittal, and tangential. Okay, and the same thing you can repeat on the other side also. This is in short the coronal and sagittal view of the brain having different planes. In addition to that, we have got another important view which is usually uh, used to appreciate uh, the uh, middle cerebral artery. I just show you that. Where the probe is placed in such a way that It is present in a portion called terion. This is called terion. You can see that hyperechogenic area, and that is the middle cerebral artery. You can appreciate. You can put the color doctor also. Yeah. This is your middle cerebral artery, hyperechogenic area, and this portion is called terion. This is the thinnest portion of a temporal bone, which is used to appreciate, and it is placed in such a way that the, the marker is placed between the anterior frontal and posterior frontal, where you can appreciate this middle cerebral artery. Bone. Are you clear about? So, better to use three important views in a small baby. One is the anterior frontal, anterior frontal sorry, using the anterior frontal coronal view using the anterior frontal sagittal view and using the TDR portion or temporal view. Thank you so much.